Michigan Freedom Diggers, Jim the Gopher, on location at this uh, out of commission miniature railroad bridge. And uh, it's a little sketchy. There's some, there's some rotted portions of it, but we've already crossed it once and Silas is on his way back. I'm trying not to have the phone shake, but I'm actually standing on part of this thing. So let me, let me see if I can stabilize myself. You guys can get a look at it. There you go. So yeah, uh, side is almost all the way across. Beautiful day out in the woods. Um, we didn't really do much metal detecting. I caught rumor that there was a bottle dump here. Sure enough, there was. Mostly 30s, 40s, early 50s stuff. Um, we got a few keepers out of here. So we're, uh, we're all packed up and getting ready to walk out of this. And uh, I have to cross this bridge again to get to them. Either that or I can go through the woods. I don't know if they're going to wait for me. You guys going to wait for me there? Yeah. You want me to come back, huh? No. Huh? Come back. Come back? Yeah. All right. I can't, I can't uh, verify uh, or vouch for how good the filming is going to be on this because i got to simultaneously watch what I'm doing and film. But... Walking across right now. Parts of this are a bit sketchy. I guess if it breaks through, this will make for some good video. I'll get a lot of views. But, <laughs> let's see here. Yeah, see, they're, uh, they're a little sketchy. Little, uh, a little rotted out and moss covered. I'd say this is probably about a about a 15 foot drop, somewhere in there. Survivable, painfully so. Hey bro. What up? I'm getting to the other side. Alright. Yep, oh god, that one's gone. Yeah, I'm just Yeah, we'll stuck. step right over the top of that one. And here's two gone ones in a row. That's just special. Trying not to shake the phone here. This one's like completely gone. Yeah. <clears throat> the things I'll do to get views on YouTube, right? Sometimes with these old uh, tracks, when, uh, when the spikes are loose, I'll pull a couple of them out. And uh, you can, like, make knives and stuff out of them. Some people do that. They'll make, like, a dagger out of a railroad spike. Or they'll make wind chimes. Here we go. Yeah, see, here's a loose one. Let's see if I can maybe pull one out. Let's see here. There you go. Cool. A little keeper, keepsake, to remember the day, if I survive it. You think I'll survive? Yeah. And of course, I have the assistance of my trusty raven and the shovel. This thing's gotten me out of quite a few scraps. Right there. Nope, you just took off. Yep. I'm disturbing the wildlife. Don't call the DNR. So now I'm going to stand right on the tracks. Straddle them. This is definitely a small gauge railroad. Very narrow. Some people say this was part of the what they called the Huckleberry Railroad out here. Which was kind of like a tourist attraction type thing you know like not like a commercial railroad and we are on safe ground <clears throat> 
Silas, who was scared to death of crossing once, has now done so four times. four times. Oh, to be young and dumb again. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up for this and uh, get home, clean up some of the bottles that we found. We got a, we got, we got two backpacks filled with bottles here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of work with the cleaning when we get home. Let's see here. Yeah, there's like a salt shaker bottle here. But there's, there's some other stuff in here that was really interesting. This one here says Lysol all the way around the top. It's a small thing. But we got a couple cobalts and uh, some other miscellaneouses milk glass so we're gonna get home clean them up and uh have us a bite to eat for that mexican tonight all right everybody thanks for watching and don't forget look for us on facebook michigan freedom diggers metal detecting join our group and get in on the action and you can show us what you're digging up and the various ways you're risking your own life when you're out thanks again talk to you later